Do you know? Do you know that Muhammad he have sixteen privilege? Sixteen. Uh, I heard a few. Like for example, the amount of wives that he could have at one time. No. That's did you Did you hear that Muhammad, if his mm -hmm. eyes fail into a woman, her husband must divorce her? Yeah, I heard thanks to you. I okay. saw the video. Yeah. Okay. What is your opinion? I yeah. I also uh, don't think that's a good thing. What do you mean it's not a good thing? Uh, with my limited understanding, I would say that it's it's um, seems weird to me. If I say uh, it, is that uh, what it seems to you, really? I mean, are you you know you see? I'm giving you all the time. I'm being patient with you. So if yeah, a man he claimed to be a prophet, and then with my respect, your wife. I don't know if you're married or not. No, I'm not. If he see your wife, and then you should divorce her because the prophet like her, is that the ethic of a man he claimed to be God man? No. Okay, so I, why I, I, why are you still confused about if Muhammad is a prophet or not? Are you going to say to me now, I want to look at it? It's hard to just uh, make a statement, you know? Like just it's not to, a statement, it's not a statement. I, mean, I You know, did yeah. I show you anything without proof? Uh, no. Okay. This is Muhammad, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. I can show it to you from Saudi Arabia, it doesn't matter. And this is the book of Al Qurtubi. And here it says if the Prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. He has 16 privilege. More than 80% of them is about money and sex what the privilege is about and not to make it more more even disgusting read with me number 10 if he see a woman her husband must divorce her he must divorce her this is google translation in arabic it says if his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her so the prophet can F her. Mm. Uh. I see. Yeah. What do you see? It looks wrong from the first uh, glance. It's look wrong? Or, what, or, yeah. or this is very disgusting. Obviously, this is a fraud. All cult leaders, they share the same thing. <clears throat> they want your money. They want sex, they want control and power and politics. All of them the same. The first thing you will see in a man who claim to be a man of God, I'm not a priest, I don't claim to be anything. The first thing you will see them doing, they will ask women to sleep with them because they, they have a privilege. They yeah. want your money. They have a, a, a privilege of money, the booty, the fifth of the booty. He made himself equal to Allah. And now a married man, we're not talking about a woman, he the prophet like her from the believer, he said, hey, come to my bed. No, if his eyes fall into a woman, she is married. Isn't it the commandment of Moses not to wish a woman she is not yours? Isn't it this is what adultery is about? Isn't it this is what the cheating is about? Isn't it this is what disgusting a, a, a man going after a married woman is about? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Isn't Muhammad? He went to his own son' house, Zaid, and he flirted with the wife. And actually, this privilege is about that woman. Yeah. yeah okay. So yeah. Muhammad, he went to his son, and he saw the women alone at home, and he flirted with the wife when the husband is not there. If I come to your house, my friend, with my respect to your family, and because you are my friend. Your wife, which you don't have, she opened the door for me. He said, hey, Christian Prince, welcome. My husband, he trusts you. You are his friend. And then after I enter inside your house, I start flirting with your wife. What you will do to me? Yeah, uh, I would. I can better not say it on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. So? Yeah. So are you willing to kill Muhammad? If you are not willing <laughs> to say it, I will say it. Are you willing to kill Muhammad if he is the one who come to your house and he did what he did with your wife? Just a question in it, like if you're completely honest, right? Is there something similar that is seen in the Bible? Like because I really don't know, but is there something well, a prophet in the Bible? Is? In the Bible, we have a story, like even mentioned in the Quran. Yeah. 
about David, but David was condemned by God, and not only that, God, he made him lose his son. He did not cheat. He, did not, he married the women. He sent her husband to go to war, so he died. And then he took the wife from the husband after he died, and he married her. But what God of the Bible did? He caused him misery. He punished him. And that means in the Bible. Here, it's a privilege. There, it's a curse. So, in the Bible, when we do something... Bible, it is making a, like exposing us if we do it. In Islam, the prophet is a good guy. It's a privilege. In the Bible, it is a sin. It's condemnation. It's not a glory. It is not something he can be proud about. So the Bible condemned the man. And David, he repented to God. Yet God, he caused his son to go to die. So we cannot compare. What is the, what do Muslim scholars say on this? They say because what I say. They say he went, he went, crazy. they said he went to his own son. I can show you the story. And it says, you know, when he saw her, he says, uh, Subhanallah, praise be to Allah who made my heart flip for you. But, okay, but what, according to the scholar, what's a good thing about this? What's yeah, this the is a scholar. Those are scholars, my friend. This is it says a privilege. They are saying this is a privilege. Why? <laughs> it's a privilege because he's a prophet. He can do that. <laughs> because he's a prophet, he can take women from their husbands. Muslim women, not the enemy, not the booty. Aren't you going to leave Islam today, my friend? Still, so you want to say to me, I want to look at it? Mistakes in the Quran, contradiction in the Quran, the sperm coming from the backbone, and the ribs of the women. Who is the, who is the crazy man who want to say that? 